why did you choose IIT and why India? Um, why IIT? Because like IIT is a um, really really famous and rigorous school of uh, engineering and that was the first uh, glance I had about it mm -hmm. and it's also the first chance to discover India because it's a really a wonderful country and to travel and also first academics uh, part and second uh, cultural experience. Uh, what were your expectations coming here and did it live up to those expectations? IIT? Yeah, I wasn't expecting such a chaotic city around IIT mm -hmm. because I've, n I've never visited India before, so I wasn't prepared to this. But uh, the campus is way more beautiful than I thought, mm -hmm. that is visible from the photos. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I wasn't prepared to uni the university because I'm studying uh, economics in Italy and here it's a techni very technical uh, university, so it's not what I'm used for to, but uh, it was a good, a good experience. <laughs> I am Isaia, I come from Italy, nearby Milano. My university is Politecnico di Milano. I'm here managing a project on self-healing of concrete, civil engineering department, and that's all. Fortunately, I have no classes, so I can really enjoy Indian life. I can travel a lot, and that's all about me. The ambience is really beautiful. Yeah. Namaste, namaste. So my name is Clement, and you my can name ask is me. Thomas. Okay. And I didn't even yeah, I I had an and uh, I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying it a lot. Mm -hmm. For example, I, I like playing sport and um, I do that in Europe a lot. And at the IIT, it's very easy to do that because you have many, many sports available inside the campus. Like recently, we just opened the swimming pool, which mm -hmm. is a very, very good news because it gets very hot. Yeah, really. And um, so basically, I do play uh, soccer, football, for example, and there's a big ground and in every hostel there is a small ground to play with your friends and to hang out and it's a very very good way to get to know Indians. Mm -hmm. My my major is economics, so I'm not I'm doing something very different here, more on sociology and social science in general. So it's good because I'm I'm learning something new. It's <laughs> and I think it, the quality is good, so it's fine. I like the food very much. <laughs> I think I get some weight. Yeah, at the beginning it was a little bit difficult because of the spices, but uh, right now after three months I'm extremely fine. The monkeys are one problem. <laughs> this I won't be I won't be used to it. <laughs> and the hostel is full of monkeys all day long, so but uh, I, I managed to to fight against them, so <laughs> now it's fine. So uh, about the hostel culture and the campus culture, is it how different is it from there to here? I know it's it sh it would be different, but yeah, completely. Because here it's um, about um, yeah, the campus is really nice. The student life in the hostel are um, really interesting because you can meet all the time a lot of people, and you can share a lot with a uh, new student every day. It's not like that in Europe because the um, the life is more. I don't know. You don't share the same than here than in um, in Europe because I don't know. You have to go home uh, all the time in Europe. Here, you the, your home is IIT, okay. so okay. it's also a good uh, opportunity to discover the the place and the country. So, about the facilities that are here on the campus uh, regarding your studies, uh, I mean, would you say that we have all the facilities that you need, or I mean, how there would you compare it with your university? There are all the, fa the facilities that are needed to live here, as like eating, restaurants, um, shops, but I think for to study it's not enough. I, I really needed sometimes better internet connections or a library opened all night where to go to study yeah. or maybe some different study places, maybe yeah. in the hostel, some places more than my room to, to have the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how is the teaching system different from uh, how we have it here? I'm sure like you'll have uh, a different teaching system. The, um, you have to adapt as an Asian student is really different and it's um, a bit difficult to, to learn all the... All the um, for example, I'm studying mathematics, so um, all the theorem and all the, the data to, to learn and to the method to, to assimilate. But uh, once you get that, you, it's... Um, great improvement because you, ca you can also understand the academic system here which is dif completely different from the system in Europe and um, it's also a um, um, great lesson I would say from our stay here. 
I'm Annette, I'm from Germany, I'm from TU Darmstadt and I study mechanical engineering and I'm here for an exchange program. Mm, good, and you? I'm Beatrice and I come from Switzerland and I'm studying chemistry and I'm from the EPFL, uh, French University. In Switzerland, okay. Nice. Do you like your stay here? Yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> Yes, I like it too. But How is your, have, has your experience been here and uh, do you think uh, it can be improved by any way? Uh, no, my experience so far has been great. I really like it to be here. Actually, I like it so much that I extended my stay for another semester. Uh, what can be improved? Working washing machines since I am at your hostel. <laughs> but so far, like as a foreigner, I feel really uh, comfortable here and it's taken care of me. I have a lot of friends who can I ask this whole um, body system and so on. Like it's really nice. They really take care of oneself. Yeah. The academic part is very, very different um, from Europe, obviously, because I think in Europe and even in the US, that's more or less the same. But in India, this is a lot more memorizing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the, the, sometimes the exercises are much more complex. So you slightly have to put more effort to get the same grade. And um, but once again, the, the, the good thing it's, it's a good way to 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 make friends because you have to you have to share, you have to to, to solve like the together. exercises. With together. Uh, with together with friends and in small groups and there are a lot of labs, labs okay. and mm -hmm. a lot of assignment so that's a good way to 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 know people and uh, but wha wha what do you think about that yeah pretty much the same like here I'm um, in mathematics so it's also um, the same way to study you have to work some time together with your friend to learn and also you share a lot or you talk about you gossip and uh, uh, gossip. share yeah like uh, you share a lot with uh, the other student here just to the fact that you when you stay here you just meet at uh, in Gurunat or in uh, other places or uh, restaurant and enjoying the like the campus with the deers and the monkeys and and uh, just staying there doing nothing sometime and just um, chilling out it's possible here on the campus so it's that's the kind of thing you can do so much because you don't have campus like that in in, in France so or in France or in in Switzerland I think it's different but um, yeah definitely it's um, it's possible to enjoy a lot here um, um, from this part of view also you can also party and also the the student life here and the the dance and the music and also that's something you really you really discover um, more and more you with your friend and and that's not the kind of thing you can do um, you can do here you also do a lot of experiences like uh, with the food and with the with the spices and and the, the, all the dishes different dishes from different states and uh, because uh, like the south indian food is different from the north indian so for us completely one uh, whole continent uh, opening um, to us so it's really really also and nice to discover for that. those who are afraid about indian food there is a very close McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> this is important. You should not, well, you yeah. not eat there every day, but there are some facilities. You shouldn't come to India if you. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it will attack you. <laughs> it's really good. Indian okay, food. so never mind. Yeah, and finally, yeah, Indian food is also good. And if you uh, want to stay in a uh, more European uh, kind of um, food, you can also find yeah, definitely. One of the most interesting thing in India is just traveling. Every weekend you can go, you live on Friday night, you take a, a night bus That's or a night train, a night train and you wake up in a mm -hmm. totally new, not new country, but almost. And it's, yeah, a really different different experience. Experience. it's a different way of traveling with respect to what we'd normally do in, in Europe. It's uh, less planes and uh, more train, more <laughs> night uh, on buses and more streets. Uh, more landscapes, it's uh, really different. It's a, it's a good way of traveling, actually. And it's pretty cheap, so yeah. <laughs> this is also good. Indian people is really warm toward uh, foreigners, in particular if you are from Europe or if you are from America. So they really are like super welcoming and uh, super interested in where are you from, what you do, what is your life. So it's really 
I think I will be shocked when back to <laughs> Europe because nobody will consider me anymore. <laughs> so yeah, that's true. This will be traumatic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I uh, saw more many courses I wanted to take. I've already taken at home, but uh, some of them are good. Sometimes the English is a little difficult in the beginning, especially because you don't expect so many different accents to be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the teachers are South Indian, the other students are Bengalis, and, <laughs> and in the breaks they always talk in foreign language, so it's mm -hmm. a little difficult to make contact with people in my class. For me, it's pretty good. I was lucky to choose some really good courses. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, my buddy also recommended me some courses, mm -hmm. so I got <laughs> some very good professors. Um, what is totally different to back home is we don't have um, compulsory attendance, so mm -hmm. we don't need to be in the classes. That is totally different here. <laughs> in the beginning, mm -hmm. it was a bit tough like to get up early in the morning, mm -hmm. but actually, I like it because uh, yeah, I study better and if you're in the class you take something out of it and the class is just 50 minutes So mm -hmm. that's really nice. Our class is at least one and a half hour For the concentration, yeah. yeah, and it's also like everything's in English you're not used to this and mm -hmm. then exactly. 50 minutes is fine. You can manage that easily mm -hmm. You talked about your buddy. Did you uh, make friends with some Indian uh, student here on the on the campus? Or did you like uh, I've done some activities with other students. Uh yeah, sure, of course. Um, I mean, uh, you usually hear that um, foreign students mingle together and mm -hmm. like they don't mingle up with others. But them. actually, I don't have the feeling here. Like, of course, sometimes it's a bit hard to come in contact with people. Mm -hmm. But if you approach them, they're always really nice, helpful, and mm -hmm. um, some are interested in having contact with you, some are not, so yes. you figure it out with the time, and I think, uh, yeah, I have a lot of good friends here. Okay, good. About you? Um, in the beginning it was a little difficult, I, I told myself I don't want to hang out with uh, other exchange students, I want to make <laughs> friends with Indians, <laughs> but in the first week you're doing all this administrative work, and you just meet them all the time because they do the same things, they're in yeah, the same, exactly. and many students are not there the first week before the class starts so right. you don't even meet that many Indians but most in your department or in your courses, my department you not so much but most of the people I know are from the hostel mm -hmm. that's okay. what I like a lot like you, you can mm, get so many and you can also like visit each other in the afternoon or something because at home we live all in flats distributed over the city mm -hmm. you don't no, hang out Europe, and, not the same. Mm -hmm. and Gurunath is one of the main yeah. <laughs> places to meet new yeah. people. Yeah, staying in Gurunath is just enough to, to just yeah. drink a juice and uh, drink a coffee and meet all the time new people. I mean, Indian in general in are India, very, yeah. very friendly, but they are even more um, friendly in the south, yes. I mean, in, my, in my point of view. Yeah. I mean, all are very helpful, even if they don't know how to help you. Yeah. Like they try to help. Especially if they don't know. Oh yeah. Just go there. Just go there. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's it's really the. It's I think like everywhere. Like some people want to come to know you better. Some don't. So it's <coughs> just as we. Are. But I have also to admit this huge separation between boys and girls this mm. is really hard if you're not used to it I mean it's nice <laughs> 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 it's nice on one hand that you like um, mingle up with the girls in your hostel and uh, you just run around and with people in the other rooms and whatever but it's not it's like it's not the same kind yeah. of thing we do in Europe in Europe no, not is at all. Uh, like completely free to talk with yeah I mean when, when people yeah. come to know that you live together with some uh, guys and girls in one flat they're like mm -hmm. totally shocked and can't believe it so it's yeah. sometimes really you, you can yeah, uh, just hang out with some other friends <laughs> which are not from your same gender than you I think one question that can be very interesting as well is what's the difference between doing an exchange program in Madras than doing an exchange program in IIT than somewhere, somewhere else like because I do think that if you do an exchange program as European in, in the US or even in Singapore or maybe in Hong Kong as well, you will have to, 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 to discover a new culture, but it, you, the, the, the difference, I mean, wh when you arrive in India, when you step out of the airport, you realize, you realize that it's uh, totally different. It's not the same country and you will have 10 months not crazy because mm -hmm. yeah crazy okay let's say crazy because you think oh what are they doing but this is normal here and <laughs> you, you will every day you will be amazed every day you will discover something new but 
even if you go to the US, it will be very interesting. The food will be slightly different. The, if they will speak English as well. But at the end, isn't it the same culture? Yeah, in a bit different way. Yeah, in a bit different way, but more or less the same culture. Yeah, and here and for one for one year of your life, it might be interesting to okay to, to jump to jump inside the swimming pool. Do you, li do you like the campus culture here on the campus? I mean, in a, on IIT, um, do you like to share activities with the other students? Or do you like sometimes dance Bollywood uh, dance uh, or? Listen to like oh, Indian music. Yeah, this is actually some really nice thing that you have all these festivals coming up yes, like yeah. Dandia Night, Holi and whatever and yes, you on celebrate it on the campus yeah, and exactly. you come to know the Indian culture very good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I really like this. Actually this is one of the nicest part of the whole stay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Also yeah. having a theater like where you can see movies all the weekend. It's Open nice. Air theater, yeah. Yeah, but I have to uh, to make a critic. Uh, they it's too commercial. They should choose a <laughs> <some> different <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the movie theater is amazing. And what else? Do you yeah. like Bollywood? Well. Until now, mm -hmm. I am still a little bit critic <laughs> about <laughs> it. <laughs> that's, that's really good. There's too much love in Bollywood movies. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like love. <laughs> uh, too really romantic. romantic. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, but they dance. I like them dancing. And yeah, the rest is beautiful. As, as she said, the festivals and the sports activity, the matches are all the time going on. So this Yeah, is really you told me you're doing football uh, Yeah, sometime. but I said that already. Oh no, yeah, I'm doing football. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, um, I'm but you you can do all kind of sports inside the campus. You have a basketball ground, a football ground. Yoga. Yo ah, yeah. yoga I said, I really said sport. <laughs> <laughs> yoga. Yoga is really yeah. famous. Squash, squash, squash everything. Really cool. And there's a swimming pool also. You can and go then to uh, yeah to just yeah. relax. There is a <laughs> sometimes sometimes so I get people studying during the night, and this is really strange for me. They have rhythms. Not so normal. Maybe they sleep yeah. in the morning. They study the in the truth night. Is they sleep into the offices and in ah, the yeah, that's true. So they're the not really studying. They're just uh, faking it. <laughs> I like Gurunath. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't go often there because it's pretty far from my hostel. But it's like the place. <laughs> it's like a, a square. Actually, you have everything there. You have shops. You have places where you can eat. You just can meet people or go outside because the Taramani gate is far, is uh, closed. So it's probably the best place to interact with other people. Um, people, as I said, people is very welcoming and nobody, everybody will care for you in any situation if you need. From the students to the professors to the people working there, it's really, everybody care for you. So this is something that is, nobody will found in Europe, find in Europe, I think. And in Indian accent, I, I think in particular some states' accents are really <laughs> hard for us. Even we don't speak that good English, so also for us it's difficult at the beginning, not knowing the language perfectly and also having people in front of us using complicated accent. So like everyone is using the word put for everything and yeah, you don't yeah. get this and the uh, mixture with Hindi words and whatever. Yeah. And <laughs> and in the beginning the it's like they talk to you and you feel like they do speak English now. Or it's just me who's not getting it. Yeah, exactly. Also, for non-English speaker, like French students, most of the time they don't speak so well English. So, for us, <laughs> well, <laughs> good, uh, good opportunity to, to yes, okay, like okay. <laughs> dosa for sure. Dosa masala dosa is the the thing I ate like one uh, once every day. So. Right now I'm getting sick of it, but I really like it. <laughs> paneer butter masala. Paneer butter masala. <laughs> we are in India. We must take something gravy and some bread. Also chili gobi yeah. is fine. Yeah. Really oh, that's like nice. So, yeah. The only problem here is that it's veg. Always veg. <laughs> <laughs> and I need maybe prawns or chicken or mutton, even other steaks if I can find it. I needed... Uh, at the beginning I was really suffering for the... There was no fresh vegetables. All the vegetables they eat in the veg, res veg restaurant is cooked. And sometimes I need like some fresh vegetables and I missed it. But uh, well, right now I'm used to it, so it's fine. I really like chat items. So ah, that's something uh, like a snack, but I still eat it as a dinner or yeah. for the lunch. Really if it's really hot, it's really nice. And there's, for example, dahi puri. It's some small uh, bowls and you fill it with curd and uh, yeah. 
uh, potato and with the time you learn all the different words like aloo for potato oh, or yeah. gobi for like there's gobi 65 that's yeah. uh, fried cauliflower yeah. I like that a lot too there are so many things that are good it's a good opportunity to discover the <laughs> new food here right also uh, from this different state no yes I mean the different state uh, there are many restaurants outside the uh, mm -hmm. institute you just ask your Indian friends and yeah, they tell exactly. you there is a place for any state because everybody likes their home food yeah exactly. <laughs> the people know where the best food can where you can get the best food what what is really special about this cultural exchange also is not that you only get something new inputs and see something new but you also start questioning your old own culture think yeah, about completely. is this normal yeah, yeah. just because we do that Uh, it doesn't mean that other people also do it and you just realize how uh, but you can also yeah learn about your own culture also you actually. can also decide yeah. what is good or yeah. wrong how well should you, you, you don't need to be well prepared or something but just have to come and open your eyes and like and get everything you can find and i think yeah. it's also important to not have some kind of expectations because yeah. I try to come here yeah definitely with, with like quite of a neutral mind it's not possible 100% but if you have some kind of expectation it's going to be different anyways definitely so definitely. I think you just no be idea. open no you cannot think about that <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, 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 you see that on TV every day yeah. you hear <laughs> oh, it, um, on radio <laughs> but this is different it's when you come this, this is, is totally, totally different, different really bye bye, bye. 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 <laughs>